The final round of the 2023 Australian Interstate Teams matches. Queensland playing traditional rivals Victoria. And they must win four and a half matches to have any chance of making this afternoon's final. Sarah Hammett has had a great week for Queensland. She was the first match to finish today. The highlight of her day, and I'm sorry to say I missed it, she held her approach shot from 140 metres on the first hole. Her opponent, Jessica Clark for Victoria, but Hammett was the winner here, six and four. There's Tyler Duncan for Queensland, taking on Riversdale Cup champion, Phoenix Campbell from Victoria. Duncan was down early, couldn't pull back the deficit. Campbell putting Victoria's first points on the board. Five and four the margin. A really tricky pin on the par three third hole. This was about as good as you could do from Queenslander Blake Perkins. But this was the second men's match to be going Victoria's way. Connor McDade lagging this part up on the third hole. He'd take that match, two and one. The first game turned out to be one of the most important Jazzy Roberts showing great touch on the greens. That was a birdie on the third hole. Kate McFarlane, one down on the final hole. Played this bunker shot, her third to the par five. Roberts had a putt for birdie to close the match out. Unsuccessful, McFarlane. Now with this for birdie to square the game. Low side, not to be. Roberts winning, one up. Keely Marks here for Victoria, the second last of the women's matches. Hannah Reeves performed well for Queensland this week and she delivered once again. Four up at the turn, she'd go on and win three and two. Queensland can't afford to lose another match. It's Tasmanian Open champ Toby Walker, Victoria into the eighth. He led most of the day against Quinn Croker, but that opened the door, had that to win it on the second last hole. Croker needed to chip in for Eagle on the final hole, any chance of squaring his match but Walker would close it out. A two putt birdie on the par five, one up the margin. That's four points for Victoria, the end of Queensland's chances. Two remaining matches, Amelia Harris representing Victoria in the top women's match. She led early, but Queensland's Justice Bozio would chase her down. So birdie on the fifth, she'd win two and one. We've seen a lot of highlights from Sam Slater this week. Thought I'd show a lighter side. We'll call it a shank-ish chip from behind the green on the opening hole. He put it behind him though. He's been brilliant on the par threes this week. This was his tee shot on the third, the best we saw there today. It set up a birdie. Then two holes later, he was at it again. Another sensational tee shot to the par three fifth. Crowds out following the final match. He was against Victorian Jasper Stubbs, who was one down playing the last hole, made this great putt for birdie. Slater was unable to convert his own birdie putt. That game finished all square. Victoria claiming the contest at the death, four and a half to three and a half.